Wandering Albatross The fearsome-looking vulture is often regarded by people as a nuisance or portent of death, but the birds are actually an integral part of the natural ecosystem. By opportunistically feeding on whatever remains from other animals' kills, these scavenger birds clean up dead animal matter from the environment that may contain harmful microbes and diseases. Due to human activity, however, many species are in steep decline around the world, which may encourage the spread of diseases. An incredible bird. 3 Vulture Facts The vulture has played a key role throughout human culture. Historically, they have been a common sight on the battlefield, feeding on slain soldiers or civilians. In some African traditions, the bird has a kind of supernatural ability to detect dead or dying prey. Some vultures will vomit up its meal to escape predators. It is not entirely clear why they do this. The vomit might serve to lighten the bird's weight before taking off. Another hypothesis is that it distracts the predator momentarily, which allows the bird to make a quick escape. Vultures alternate between moments of relative plenty, gorging themselves on as much food as they can eat, and long periods of rest and sleep while they digest their meal. Vulture scientific name Despite popular misconception, the word, vulture, does not describe the scientific classification of a single group. Instead, it is the informal name for many types of carrion-eating birds with similar characteristics. There are more than 20 species of vultures currently classified by taxonomists. They fall into two broad categories, Old World and New World vultures. These two groups are united by many similarities, but they are actually somewhat distantly related. Old World vultures are part of the family Accipitridae, which also includes eagles, hawks, kites, and harriers. New World vultures are part of the family Cathartidae, which is part of an entirely separate order. The vulture is an example of convergent evolution, two groups that independently evolved similar features and behavior but are taxonomically very different. In other words, despite being part of completely separate evolutionary lineages, they evolved to exploit a similar niche. New World vultures include the turkey vulture, Cathart's aura, the California condor, and the Andean condor. The Old World vultures include the Egyptian vulture, the griffin vulture, the European black vulture, the bearded vulture, and the Indian vulture. Vulture. The bird's appearance and behavior. The vulture's appearance, physiology, and behavior are all testament to its remarkable evolutionary adaptations over millions of years to fit a scavenger lifestyle. One of the most distinctive features of the vulture bird is the bald head. It was once believed that this bald patch had evolved to prevent the feathers from becoming damp with blood when consuming a carcass, but another possible explanation is that it may also assist in the regulation of body temperature. The big sharp beak also evolved to tear away flesh and muscle from the bone. The bird's talons and feet are adapted more for walking than killing prey. The vulture is a bird with a rather dark and subdued appearance. It is covered in feathers of black, white, gray, and tan, though a few species exhibit brighter red or orange plumage. The legs often acquire a white coloration due to the presence of uric acid from the bird's waist. It is believed that the uric acid helps to kill microbes and regulate feet temperature. They vary in size, though most species are large and formidable like birds of prey. The largest species of Old World vulture is the Cenarius or Black Vulture. It measures more than 3 feet long with a wingspan of around 9 feet, and it weighs almost 30 pounds. The largest New World vulture is the Condor with a wingspan of more than 10 feet. By comparison, the gigantic albatross has a wingspan of almost 11 feet. These birds' unique feather adaptations have enabled it to become an expert at soaring miles above the ground in search of dead or dying animals. Whenever it gets cold, the bird will sometimes spread out its wings in the sun to warm up. Because of their distinct evolutionary lineages, both New World and Old World vultures differ quite a bit in several key aspects. One of the most important differences is their nesting behavior. Old World vultures prefer to construct nests out of sticks. New World vultures, on the other hand, do not build nests of any kind and tend to lay their eggs on bare surfaces. These nesting areas are sometimes inhabited by large colonies of birds. A group of vultures is known as a venue or committee. Another important difference between the two groups lies in their senses. Some New World vultures have a keen sense of smell that allows them to detect carcasses from long distances away. This is an uncommon trait among many bird species. 
Old world vultures traditionally rely more on their sight to locate food like a typical bird. New world vultures also lack the throat structure, which is known as the syrinx, that gives voice to many birds. They are still capable of hisses and grunts but cannot make the kinds of complex sounds and calls for which birds are widely known. This limits their ability to communicate with each other as well. Most species of vultures tend to spend most of their time within a narrow geographic range, but northern based species like the widespread turkey vulture are migratory during the winter months. The turkey vulture spends most of the summer in the northern United States and then travels south when the weather starts to become cold. Ulcher. The bird's habitat. As the name implies, Old World vultures inhabit a huge swath of territory in Europe, Asia, and Africa, except for Australia and the Pacific Islands. The New World vultures inhabit a mostly unbroken stretch of territory in the Americas south of Canada. Both types prefer hot or tropical climates but also inhabit temperate climates as well. They can be seen hunting in relatively remote locations, usually near large open expanses, and roost in cliffs, trees, and sometimes on the ground. Vultures tend to avoid human settlements but sometimes may attempt to eat roadkill or garbage left behind by people. Vulture diet. What does the bird eat? Vultures belong to a special class of carnivore known as a scavenger. This means they feed almost exclusively on carrion, the leftover remains of dead bodies, but they are not particularly discerning about what kind of animal they eat. Although they are not adept at hunting, they have been known to opportunistically kill wounded animals and hasten their deaths. They will also sometimes follow a dying animal, patiently waiting for it to perish. If the animal's hide is too tough to pierce, then they will allow other predators or scavengers to feed on it first. They can sometimes be seen side by side with other scavengers at a single carcass. Vultures have highly specialized enzymes, essentially a type of protein, in their stomachs to neutralize dangerous microbes that would otherwise pose a danger to most animals. In this way, they clean up rotting carcasses from the environment that have been left behind by other predators. They are voracious eaters, sometimes consuming up to 20% of their own body weight in a single sitting. They are extremely thorough in their consumption, often leaving very little of the carcass. The bearded vulture even consumes the bones. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please if you are enriched by our video like so YouTube can show this to more people, subscribe and share we will really appreciate it thanks.